hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can secure or how we can harden our car linux this is to make sure that you protect it from unauthorized uh, access from attacks and other vulnerabilities now i'll be running most of the commands on the terminal uh, let's go ahead and uh, see the commands the first thing you want to do is you want to update your system you can use the command sudo apt update and then you can do sudo apt full upgrade to upgrade the system and then you do dash y for yes so this could take a while i'm not gonna run the command so that's the command you you run the next command you run is sudo apt auto remove and this should remove any unwanted uh, packages the next thing you want to do is you want to change the default password for instance if your Kali Linux comes with the, the username Kali and the password Kali you can, can use the command pass wd and then just press enter this will prompt you to change the password for that user okay actually let's go ahead and uh, see what this does so password for the current user and then you can put in your password here and retype it and that's it you've changed the password the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a NAT and root user that you use for your daily tasks to create a user you can use sudo add add user here and then the name of the user let's say Joe and then you love you need to put in the password for the user And then you can put in all the information the user is added and then you can give the user sudo permission so you can add the user to the sudo group using the command let's clear this so you say sudo user mode dash ag that allows you to add the user to the group sudo and then the name of the user here can say id joe and you can see that this is one of the groups that the user joe is in let's look at the other thing you might want to do you might want to disable uh, root login uh, if you you have ssh enabled ssh services you can edit the ssh config file so you can do sudo nano you can use nano or vim whatever editor you want to use sshd config and in here what you'll need to do is you want to change the option that says permit root login to no so you just look for that line and change it to no so in this case you see it says permit root login prohibited password so what you could do is you could edit this line to say permit root login you can change this to no and then edit it uh, remove the comment so that it applies once you're done with that you can just save save that file and then you'll need to restart the services the ssh services you can do uh, sudo system ctl restart ssh and this should restart ssh services and apply the changes that you just made the other thing you might want to do is you might want to enable the firewall you can use the uncomplicated firewall the ufw in order for you to uh, enable it you just do sudo apt install ufw if it's not installed it's gonna install it for you okay once it's installed you can do sudo ufw enable and now it's active firewall is active the firewall is active and enabled and then the applications you want to allow you can use the command sudo ufw allow let's say ssh so if you wanted to allow another application for instance http or https you can uh, add a, a rule for that to check the status you can do sudo ufw 
clear you can do sudo ufw status status and this should show you the status of the firewall here and what's allowed for instance we have port 22 for ssh and port 43 for https allowed in this case now if you have uh, services that are not needed that are running you can disable those you can you can check what services are running you can do sudo system ctl list let's say list uh, unit files uh, type service grab enabled so there's a type for here you change this this should be type equals and here you can see a list of all the uh, enabled services such as uh, cron services getty so you should have an idea of what services uh, you need and what services you don't need in order for you to disable them okay we see we also have ssh sudo and then there's uh, network services as well so just go through all the services and at the end you see we have UFW service that we just added. If there is a service that you know for sure you don't need, you can go ahead and uh, disable it. Now let's look at the command for disabling a service. It's going to be sudo system ctl disable. And then here you put the service name from the list we just saw. Just put the service name here, press enter and that should disable the service for you. So if you want to prevent IPs from repeatedly trying to log into the system, you can use failban. So you'll need to install failban here on your system. You use sudo apt install fail to ban. Press Y for yes. Once you have failban installed, you can enable it using sudo system ctl enable fail band 2 or fail band services and then you can go ahead and start the services you can do sudo system ctl start fail band 2 so and lastly what we can do is we can constantly monitor uh, system logs for any suspicious activity so the tool you can use to monitor your log, you can use, um, so we can say, we can say sudo journal ctl dash f, and this should continuously run the logs. So you can have this terminal open and leave it open and monitor the logs as they come in. And there you see that we just saw um, a log come in. And finally, one other thing you can disable is Bluetooth. If you don't use Bluetooth, you can disable it. Just open a different terminal here. And then we'll see the command to disable Bluetooth. So to disable Bluetooth, you can do sudo system ctl disable Bluetooth. Put in your password and then you can do sudo system ctl stop bluetooth so that's it for these videos those are some of the things you might want to do on your newly installed color linux machine in order for you to secure it or to harden it so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye